Okay. Hey everyone. Uh, this is just going to be a quick video about the history and context of the angstrom lubed cubes that you can buy at the cubicle.us. Um, they come lubed with a combination of Dignus Haas and DNM. The first person to find out this combination was Yu Shen Chen from Michigan. She told me about this combination and it was really nice. So uh, serendipitously, Phil also used this combination in a 4x4 and it turned out really, really well. So this is the combination of lubes together with uh, Lubical Black and Gravitas that you'll get when you buy a cube from the cubicle. Um, and there are a lot of reasons why this is so nice. However, the scientific community tends to argue about this. And I'm trying to keep it simple. So uh, Dignitas first came about when I was making nitride coated cubes. Uh, I coated cubes with metal nitride because drill bits are coated with metal nitride. And these cubes turned out ridiculously fast. And I thought to myself, what if I made a suspension in silicone and I made a lube out of this? And it turned out pretty good and thus became Dignitas. So the metal nitride itself is an inorganic solid which is insoluble in water. I've tested this by pouring it in water and as expected, it's hydrophobic. Now, there are some people online from very good universities who've put out ridiculously good research papers in very good journals about this new term called super hydrophobic super hydrophobicity and that's when it's not only hydrophobic it's really really hydrophobic and there are some papers who say arguing things that this is actually hydrophilic it's not this and because of that I can't give you a conclusive answer why now they used car that carbon but they made nanotubes out of this nitride and because of these nanotubes and the arrangement of such, they repelled water very, very strongly. Now, the way these nitrides are produced, it's through a combustion process, just like candles making soot. And the very first carbon uh, crazy allotropes, such as Buckminster Fullerene and nanotubes, are actually produced in soot in small amounts. What you get is the whole gamut of carbon allotropes in the soot. So you'll get little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a little bit of nanotubes. I can't say with certainty how many nanotubes there are in the nanoparticles that we buy, but as a bulk, in the bulk properties of this stuff, it's definitely hydro, hydrophobic. It's repelling water. And when you mix this with the silicone, which is already extremely hydrophobic, my professional opinion is that these two hydrophobic layers of silicone are cushioning a layer of aqueous DNM in the middle and the repulsion between these is what causes a really nice feeling. So when you have a hydro-based lube, a water-based lube, between two layers of hydrophobic lubricants, it makes it feel even nicer. And what I'm willing to say is Dignitas is even more hydrophobic than normal silicones. And that's what causes this combination to feel so nice. Now, that would just be my professional opinion. I don't know for sure because I don't have the really detailed instruments. And to check this would take a ridiculous amount of resources. And right now, the scientific community can't even agree on that. So, where do we go from here? What we do know is it makes a darn good lubricant combination. And I highly recommend it, guys. Um, if you're if you're curious about more, there's plenty of scientific material online about um, nitrides and their hydrophilic and slash hydrophobic nature. Um, but that's for another video. So talk to you guys later. See you in the next video.